Good morning. It's Saturday, September 13th, 2020. We're out here at the Brazoria County Modelers Association Flying Field in Oyster Creek, Texas. Today's a special day. I'm going to attempt to fly the world's smallest traveling engine. This is a Cox TDO-10 or 010 that has been sponsored uh, by some of the guys on the Cox Engine Forum online uh, and it travels around the world. Basically you receive the engine after getting on a, a waiting list and when it's mailed to you you can take it and pull it out of the box and take pictures of it and take it around to exotic locations or take pictures of it at various photo ops in your local area. You can run it, you can fly it, uh, take pictures of it with your grandkids or whatever floats your boat. And I've had it for a few weeks and been tinkering with it and got a few pictures of it here and there, but been having some trouble getting it to run correctly. And hopefully we got most of that behind us. So after working on the engine a little bit, I'm getting some decent runs out of it. We're going to try to fly it today, finally. Uh, this is my little T-stick. It's a 15-inch wingspan plane that's custom built. I made it a few years ago. I actually built the airplane about the time I got on the waiting list to receive the traveling engine. Uh, it weighs 3.7 ounces. It has a one-third ounce or 10 milliliter fuel tank in the fuselage. Uh, we're going to be running it on a SIG 25% Nitro Champion Fuel with a little bit of extra castor oil added to the mix and using the Spectrum radio. It's two channel, rudder and elevator only. And if we can get it to start up, we'll take her around the patch. Like our glow head may be going south. Well, the last glow head, I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but the flame was going out every time I pulled the glow driver off of it. And it seemed to be drawing fuel. So it's got a bright, shiny new glow head on, on the engine. So let's give it a shot. And the world's smallest traveling engine takes to the skies once again. It's not the most powerful O10 engine. It's only putting out a little over 22,000 RPMs at static. In comparison, on the same fuel, my engines run about 30,000. It's going to be getting a new uh, piston and cylinder set soon. It's in route by mail. But as it is, we can still fly it.
got a beautiful sunrise this morning storm clouds just offshore Because of the special nature of this engine and the lack of power that it's producing currently, I'm just kind of taking it easy on the airplane, not getting crazy with aerobatics. It's just special to be able to fly it. We recently lost a member of the Cox Engine Forum this past week. Rockin' Rusty. Rusty Knowlton. And he actually uh, has had his hands on this engine and flew it on a control line plane or attempted to. Had some friends help him with it when he was getting sick. And he's missed by everybody on the forum. So Rusty, this flight's for you, my friend. And that's all she wrote. Come on in. <laughs> and folks, that's the world's smallest traveling engine. Beautiful little Cox TD 010.
sponsored by some of the guys on the Cox Engine Forum. I'd like to say thanks to all the guys that put this little project together and got it going out by mail. I've looked forward to receiving this engine for several years. I look forward to seeing where it goes next. It has a neat little journal that comes in the case. So we'll fill out our stories in the journal and sign it. And we'll be passing it along soon. From the Gulf Coast of Texas. Have a good day.